it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's In My Bag video. This one will feature the Lug Trolley Crossbody in Bloom Black. This is my first time using this style of bag. It is a pretty new style, and this is, of course, my favorite Lug pattern right now. So, I grabbed a few possible accessories to go with this. Since it is a relatively small bag, I grabbed some small things. I grabbed my heart pouch in Bloom Black which can be used as a coin purse, hold masks, earbuds, whatever. I grabbed a tango or a tandem zip in bloom black as well, and it has a removable wristlet strap on it. I grabbed a coin pouch, which doesn't come in bloom black, but did come in bouquet black, which if you look at the colors, um, it kind of matches anyway, so that's close. I grabbed a rodeo wallet, which also has a removable removable wristlet strap. And then I also grabbed the Kickflip 3 in Bloom Black because I wasn't sure which wallet option I would go with. So I brought out all the Bloom Black ones that I had. Um, obviously I could use my Black Splits XL. I could use a Splits wallet, um, but I wanted to stick with the pattern matchy matchy for the most part. So we'll see, there will be some blended things going on once we get moved in. But before we can move in, we have to move out of the previous bag, which is still the work tote from Vera Bradley in Garden Dream. So let's just unpack everything really quickly. So I have nothing in the front pocket zipper. Um, I did at some point have things in and out of there. I have a hand sanitizer with my bear that snores. <laughs> Super cute. And this is pumpkin cupcake hand sanitizer. In the slip, I also have, let's see, two snack size bags of almonds, which is 56 grams, one serving, three grams of carbs. Great little snack bags. I use my snack towers sometimes, but the other day I threw them in here in case I got hungry on the go. Um, then I have my Vera Bradley Harry Potter sunglasses. It's a bag charm that I just have my sunglasses and I tucked it inside the pocket. That's it for that. I have my... Okay, so as I'm moving out of this bag, let me tell you one thing. Like, the way that this is constructed, when you put a phone in here, it, like, sags the bag down on top. It's weird, but it just... The way that it hangs, it annoyed me because it pulls that top edge down. It's okay. There's my phone with the bramble cover. That sort of kind of matches Bloom Black also. I have some wet wipes for sanitizing. I have a notebook in a passport wallet also Vera Bradley, a slim journal. I have my wallet, which is the Midtown Accordion wallet, or, well, I guess it's Performance Twill, it's Garden Dream. Then I have three pens. Ah, actually, it's, we'll look at those in a minute. I have nothing in the laptop compartment. I have a cosmetic and a set piece. And then I have keys and nothing in the back. So that empties this bag. Great bag, did talk about it when I got another one and talked about some of the things I like and don't like about it, but very good bag. So let's empty out some of these cosmetic pieces because we're not gonna necessarily transfer everything over. So we're going from a very big bag to a much smaller bag option. So it's time to thin out the extras a little bit. So we'll look at what I'm pulling out as we put it back in the next bag. A lot of little things, and some of it's duplicated effort, so we for sure don't need to transfer. Okay, so that's that pocket. The, the set pieces I'm really loving. I did grab, where are they? Oh, oh there. I grabbed a couple more to potentially use. So I grabbed the uh, World of Warcraft Legends of Azeroth, and I grabbed the Harry Potter... Um, platform nine and three quarters pattern. So, I mean, they don't totally match with the, the black, bloom black, but they're colorful and distinct. So we'll talk about that when we get to repacking. So inside this one, we have the large set piece itself with the short strap. That's for sure coming out. I have a charging cord that's long. I have the small set piece, which may stay in, but inside here we have business cards. I think we're changing out case. Got a squeezy light and a multi-tool short charging cord, which probably will stay. The plug, 
small mag light and a little pen. Okay, so that's one set piece pouch, which we'll set aside. We may use again. We don't need the long cord, so that goes into the basket. If y'all know my basket of purse things, here we go. It's just items that are purse oriented, but may or may not be in the purse at any given time. So it's just a convenient way to not have to dig it out from all over the house every time you change bags. Okay, so quick look at this that we're moving into. We've got a front zipper pocket. It is a double zipper. It's your built-in wallet, which I don't tend to use, but it has a zipper and it has the card slots. There are six card slots. This pocket is RFID though, so that is probably where I will put my wallet, whichever I choose. And I think I know the answer to that, but we'll come back to it. My phone's flashing. That reminder for appointment on Monday. <laughs> okay, so that's the front pocket. Second pocket is actually the main pouch. It is in front of the top handle and it, it is the whole compartment. So you have two cargo elastics, you have a clear pocket and you have a key bungee or a bungee clip used for whatever. And then you have a zipper pocket on the back and zipper pocket on either end. I have it to use as crossbody, so I've already sized the strap accordingly. It is adjustable and removable, so you could just strictly use it as a handbag. It does have the non-slip grip on the handle, which is great. The cool thing about these is they have swivels on the, the connection, so you don't have to get it all perfectly straight to hook it. Just hook it and swivel it. It'll line itself up. One thing I noticed as I was adjusting this to the height that I wanted or think I want is it needs just a little strap. It could be just a loose strap, it could be elastic or just fabric, just to kind of, that you can slide up or down when you're adjusting this, that kind of hold that together. Otherwise you get this kind of gaping thing. And if you have it shorter, that gape, you know, is gonna be even more. So just something like, oh, my dog collar has one. It, it just is a little slide. So you could slide it down to the bottom and see how it pinches it. And now you don't have that gaping, it just holds it. Maybe when I have weight in the bag and the strap is broken in a little bit and it's not so stiff as you can see, it's very stiff. Maybe that will break itself in and it will hold its own shape without having to have that. But just that little strap that you can slide. I'm just saying, yeah. That was what I was thinking as I was adjusting it because it's so stiff that it was just like this the whole time. I'm like, yeah, but that's gonna annoy me and catch on things. So I need to do some strap training to kind of crease that into place, it's better. Okay, lots and lots of chit chat. Let's look at what needs to go in the bag. First of all, the phone. The phone for sure has to go in the bag because that goes everywhere. So phone, uh, well like I said, it kind of matches. It goes here in the phone pocket, that's easy. Um, next, oh, we'll come back to that. Wallet, we need a wallet. Right now I have this, yes I could just transfer that. But I'm thinking we'll go to the Rodeo. I've never used it. It is a compact wallet. The other two wallet options do fit in here, but they take kind of the whole bag. So I'm thinking compact wallet is a better answer. So we're gonna go with that. And I even think maybe without the wristlet strap, make it even more compact. So just the Rodeo, I'll do the wallet transfer later. Uh, any limb facts in here? It just has a lot of cards and stuff, so this might get bulky in here. I think it'll work. Okay, so this wallet, and I'm gonna put this in the front compartment since that should be double protected, right? Is this RFID as well? Ooh, yes it is. Okay, so the wallet's RFID and the pocket's RFID. I always love double protection. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. I'll still leave it unzipped. The manicure kit can come out. I do still need one in there, but I'm gonna change to Fruit Grove. Nailed it. Um, just because the colors match a little bit. It doesn't match, but I'm still gonna put it in there. And this is just gonna go in the main pouch and it can stand up, that's fine. We need keys for sure. We need the truck key, uh, my shopping tag, bag charm. We got the mail keys and then the house keys and the medical alert thing. So probably that whole cluster. And I'm thinking back back pocket. If I wonder if it all fit in here. I think so. Maybe. 
maybe not. Okay, so <laughs> that does not fit there. So perhaps I will go ahead and put that on the key bungee. Or maybe just part of it on the key bungee. Let's see. If I just take the male key, which is the only one I really need in hand most of the time, and honestly, the rest, I hardly ever touch unless I'm shopping. So I'm just gonna dump that in the pocket and put this on the bungee. That seems silly, but that's the only one I really need to find. Um, maybe, I know, thinking process, right? I'm gonna go ahead and put the shopping tag bag charm with it, because that's the only other piece that I ever need to grab. And the other ones should now fit in the side pocket, so very easily and nicely. Okay, so those keys, because it's a touchless entry on the vehicle. I don't need tissues, business cards. I'm changing from, where'd it go? Somewhere here, there it is. So I'm coming out, bringing the metal one out and bringing the fabric one in. This one is Vera Bradley Lilac Medallion. It snaps open, has two halves. I have two different cards. So there's that. And I'm just gonna put that in one of this little slip in the back. Okay. Inside, let's see. The front has a zipper pocket as well has card slots. So in the card slots in the front, I'm gonna put my squeezy light in one. Uh, oh, maybe in the lower one, so it's too close to the top. Okay, and my multi-tool, you can kind of see it's my Swiss Army card in, the, in another. So that's just two card slots. That'll fit there nicely. So now when you look in this pocket, you can see the wallet and then the two card slots. I'm not gonna put anything in that zipper pocket right now. But pens, there's not really a pen slot in this bag. So I'm gonna put them in the back. Look, I have a Bloom Black lug pen. Yay, that's going. I'm gonna put it in this back pocket that has a zipper. And I have a multi, it's a pen pencil red pen option. And then I just have a cyclic vomiting pen with a stylus on the end. I'm just gonna leave all three in there. No, take that back. I'll leave two and I'll take this one out. Okay, so I got two pens, notebook. I probably can change notebooks. Yeah, so we'll take this one out and I'll bring in this one. Because it's smaller, it's hard bound, but super cute. It does have a little, oh, the pen clip won't work anyway. Okay, but I'm gonna put this in this little slip back here. I think it'll fit. Yep, fits nicely there. So now I have my business cards and my notebook and the slips. I've got my keys and my manicure kit. I've got my gum and mints and my glucose tabs, just options. You never know what you want in a given day. Let's just see if I can leave that as is in here. I've got headphones, those need to go in here as well. Um, we don't need the mag light because we have the squeezy flashlight, so that can come out, or that can go in the key compartment with the other keys. We'll just hook it onto there and put it in there, because you never know. Safety and whatnot. I've fallen twice in the dark lately, and that's a whole other story. It has nothing to do with klutziness, but <laughs> still it happened. Oops, zipper, wrong zipper. Okay, so that fits nicely in there. That'll be fine. In the opposite end, I'm thinking hand sanitizer stuff. So we have alcohol spray, we have um, eucalyptus mint hand sanitizer, and then we have the antimicrobial, antifungal, antiviral spray, the generic one. And I'll just put all three of those in there together. They stand up perfectly. Also in this pocket, I will put I have two chapstick. Let me put chapstick. I'll put that in there. And that's probably it for that pocket. Chapstick and hand sanitizer. Perfect. In the back pocket, 
I'm changing sunglasses. So we're taking this out in its entirety. And then I grabbed a soft sided, you know, squeeze top one. This is a factory style Vera Bradley in Parisian Paisley. It is a older pattern, but the style is still current. Um, and inside I have the mini medallion sunglasses. We've seen these before. But that way they have a little protection since the pocket I'm putting them in is not padded or soft lined. All that's back there is pens. So let's see if this fits in there. Yeah, pretty nicely. I mean, it's a slightly tight fit, but it zips. And we've got the wallet up front with the squeezy and the tool. And maybe nothing else in that pocket, I think. Okay, so we, we're pretty full. <laughs> And we don't have anything yet in the clear pouch. Um, got a couple things I still want to put in here. So we might have to, let's take this and thin it down. And I think let's use a different set piece. We'll use the small set piece from platform nine and three quarters. And we don't need the strap on it. We could, of course, hook that up to the bungee, but we're not going to do that. Okay, so we've got this small set piece. It doesn't quite match, but I think it's better than boring black. And we'll just put a few of these things that we might need. So we need a gum, for sure. This one is Orbit Winter Mint. It's not even opened yet. Got to have a uh, glucose option. doesn't have to be the glucose tab, so we'll take those out for now because this Eclipse tin is actually not mints. This one has Werther's and Butterscotch discs, which again, I don't eat hard candy, but just in case something happens, and I have that just in case for emergency purposes. And then maybe leave the mints out and just take the breath strips. So that thins us down significantly, and there's still space in here. Yeah, so there's still, it's a half full laying down. So, yeah, what do we have? We have some tums, we don't need that separately. We've got band-aids, probably don't need that. Toothpicks we always need, so I'll put those in here. An extra pen, we don't really need that because we have two pens already. Uh, yeah, we got that. And then medicine, hmm. I think we're gonna want this there's also Tums. Let's do, we'll put that aside. We don't need that. Okay, so small set piece with our edibles in it. Yeah, mints and gums. And that can stand up in here. And that still leaves a little bit of room. So the, let me take that out for just a sec. The clear plastic pocket, I'm going to put Hand lotion, sunscreen can come out because I put that on in the morning anyway. So we'll just take that out and I'll leave a comb and two hair bands in that clear pocket. So just a simple load in that pocket. So it's still got space in there. That lotion is a little bit bulky though, I admit. So let me flip that around, put the skinny towards the middle. There we go. So now we have our little snack pack or whatever, and I'm just gonna put it in there. So everything lines up really nicely. It is full, but not overstuffed. Got my headphones, my manicure kit, my small set piece, my business cards, and my notebook. And there is still room for another something. Let's just put two bags of almonds right in there. I could, Put those in another set piece. I don't think that's necessary. It's kind of redundant, but I will just fold them up a little bit. And they fit perfectly right down in that little slot. Oops, I forgot this. Okay, well, I don't need a charging cord. Second thought. Ha! Huh. Okay, so I will put the charging cord and plug. I think that will work. Let me just tighten this up a little. tighter spiral here. Put that inside the heart pouch. And if I put this in the middle, I think it will close around it nicely. 
It'll work. Oops, that's not the zipper. Zipper! Ta-da! Okay, cord and charger, and I'll put that on the front of my bag. So I've got my heart pouch on my bag. That's cute to see anyway. Keeps room on the inside free. And I have everything I need. All I have to do is do the wallet transfer and we're good. One thing I don't have in here though, hand sanitizer, the squeezy kind option. That was another one. But I do have the sprays. That's totally fine. I do have this other pouch. I could put a hand sanitizer in here, hang that off the other end. I think that starts to get a little... Maybe a little bit silly with too many things hanging on it. So I'm gonna skip that and go with the sprays just for this time that I'm using this bag. And so we are packed and ready. We've got keys, we've got sanitizers, we've got sunglasses, I've got my phone, wallet, a couple extra things, and everything inside. So that big bag actually transferred pretty nicely down to this little bag. This packs a wallet for a little bag. It is a little bit heavy, but it's well balanced and quite comfortable. So when I put this on now, because I will definitely carry it crossbody, and I like it to hang a little bit low, so I know my shirt's really baggy. Super comfy, and it'll match a lot of things. Very nice little bag. So that is what's in my bag with the Lug Trolley Crossbody in Bloom Black. Thanks for watching, hope you're doing well, and have a great weekend. Bye for now.